Hi everyone. I'm going to give you a quick demo of the first alpha release of Fennec for Windows Mobile devices on this uh, HTC Touch Pro. For a more in-depth walkthrough of how the user interface works, I'd recommend you look at our, a video of our first beta release for, Win, uh, for MAMO devices. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. Um, but I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of it running here on this uh, Windows Mobile device, as well as a couple of things that are uh, entirely new for all platforms. Um, so first, let me just switch here. The UI for Fennec uh, in this alpha one is very similar to what you will have seen in versions of Fennec before. We have a title bar across the top of the screen as well as a button for uh, letting you see your bookmarks. Um, the controls for um, the browser are off just past the edge of web content here on the right. So there's a button for bookmarking, for going back and forward, uh, and to get at some browser tools. And similarly, your browser tabs are off to the left here. So the one I'm on right now and another one. Let's, uh, let's switch to that now. And of course the title bar pans off the top of the screen as you start to move through the page. So you can see that panning works as it does in other versions of, the, of Fennec. One of the things we're most excited about in Fennec, of course, is the way we try to save you on typing. And the, one of the primary of those is through the use of the Firefox Awesome Bar. When you tap on the title bar, um, and actually I'm going to use the hardware keyboard here, um, we already give you a list of places you go to frequently or often, the thinking being that those are places you will go to, uh, that, that you're likely to want to go to now. And you can just tap on one of those to go there. Now, if what you want isn't there, of course, you can just start to type and our suggestions update based on what you've started to type. So already with one letter, if where I wanted to go is add-ons, um, it, it, we're already going there, or you can tap. Now, if what you want still isn't there, um, you can, and I, if add-ons weren't there, If I had never been there before, I could just search using one of these search engines across the bottom, and you can pan this back and forth to get it more. I'm going to use Google here. And I can send that search directly to that search engine. And so here we are, search results are starting to come up, and uh, Firefox add-ons is right there. Now, something I mentioned earlier, those browser tools, this is one area where there's work going on on Fennec for all platforms, and so it's here as much as anywhere else. When I go into these browser tools, uh, it's our way of getting, letting you get at a few things. But chief amongst those, I think, are add-ons. Um, you can see that uh, you can also get at your downloads and preferences. But we started to adapt the add-ons manager for use on a mobile browser using uh, more an e a mechanism that's easier to use, like uh, like lists. So here you can see immediately that I don't have any add-ons installed right now on this device, but here are four that are being recommended for me. And if I want to search the whole addons.mozilla.org catalog, I can just tap on search to get the uh, search field that will let me search through the whole catalog. So that's a quick walkthrough of uh, Fennec for this Alpha 1 release for Windows Mobile devices. Um, I'll put some URLs on the next screen, and please uh, try it out yourself. Thanks a lot.